hello my dears after a small pause i am back oh let's go let's just go you must gather the three pyramids of asimov okay so you have nothing more to say to me let's go then hallway i'm out of here oh great one two three jim's workshop was that where i was before oh yeah yeah one all right anything this way nope Number two, door two. Sure thing, oh my god. What is this? Lovely, door number three, it's locked. Door number four, locked. Great, that makes my life a bit easier. Let's go. I hope, I uh, suppose that the other ones will unlock. Henry, I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since, well, four years now. Dr. Zimbardo, it's an important step that I hope you will be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of great comfort to Sal. Oh, it's Gizmo. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month, after he was assigned a kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He's more than, her than ready, Henry. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it'll be good to have my son back. Yeah, it was that time, right, when his mother was... Hey! Well, this isn't what I ex was expecting. You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it feels pretty natural. Like, I've been here the whole time, like, waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to be unsettling. But I am not like you. You find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. On it. Great! Why is this so freaking weird? What is that? 145? Looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone. And now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope that I can somehow make up for my mistakes. I need you to know that. I. It just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. Okay. Front door. I can't leave. I have to find the pyramid. Why do I make funny noises as a No, I already read the letter, thank you. Why am I making funny noises? Todd's room. It's sealed shut. Fantastic. This one? Oh my god, what is that? I did it. Wait, is there anything else in this room that I might have lost? Anything on the floor? No? Nothing to see? No? Okay. Seems fine. I hate this style. It's so creepy and weird. Sally's room. Nope. Please? What was that? Juice. My masks. My bed. Oh, something under the bed. Okay, cool. I had the blue with the one dot white. I had the... Uh, the... Wait. Anyway, uh, lovely that I found that, whatever that is. What the fuck? Oh, a photo! Oh, look at them being happy. Even Todd is looking healthier in this picture. This Todd doesn't look healthy at all. Five, zero, two, three. Okay. Five zero two three. I'll keep it for some reason. It's jam shut. And the bathroom should Okay. Ah, seven eight four two. Why are you giving me so many numbers? Seven eight four two. Okay, and that was the microwave as well. One four five. 
Is there any number in this in cell's room that I did not notice? Any number at all somewhere here besides that thing? Doesn't seem like it. Just a weird music playing on the stereo that I don't need to hear. Okay. Todd's room. Oh, you have pad numbers. Okay. Uh, okay. It's... Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. So that's... I need a calculator. I need a calculator. So I had the number... One, four... No. One, four, five. Plus five, zero, two, three. Plus seven five four two. So it's one two seven one zero. Ah! I thought it was plus because there was like a bunch of pluses in there. Did I plus it wrong? Apparently, I plus it wrong. Okay, my calculator is giving me another number. One three. Zero. One. Zero. Ah! Ha ha ha! I plussed it wrong. Okay, let's go. Why is there a cane over there? I found a pyramid! Sal? Um, that was creepy. Let me see. I'm looking at the number, the, the time of recording. Megan, Stacy. Secrets! So I have a black one with five dots. Luke Holmes. There was people that I didn't see. Husband of Stacy Holmes, father of Megan Holmes. Born in 44, died in 87. Stacy, wife of Luke Holmes, mother of Megan Holmes, 48, 1987. Megan Holmes, daughter of Luke and Stacy. She died with seven years old, man. Okay, and the other ones we did see. Chug, Larry, Lisa. Oh! How is that you? It's me. Sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There are so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. Uh, all right. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. Fun. The three pyramids of Asimath, north, west, east, to be placed around a corpse? The symbols are some sort of code, but where are they? Wait, maybe it's like here? Like this? No. Because this is the north one, right? Oh, so maybe... Okay, I think I get it. Um, Black up white left then black left then white down black left white left or not ah okay after i press the button i have to place it you did it ash oh back here again well on the next one all right, should I enter those rooms again? Now, why not? The white room. Technology is the creation of humankind. Humankind is a creation of nature. Thus, technology is the evolution of nature. Sure, I think. It could be. And what does the black side has to say? Technology is the perversion of nature, the folly of humankind. Their lust for betterment will be their undoing. Okay, um, 
I don't doubt that the technology is basically dragging, dragging us all down. But it's also not that bad, you know? Hey, Jim. How you doing? So, what happened to you? As you know, I was once human. After accidentally discovering a new world, I also discovered love. I died trying to protect that love. My human form was for fate, and my soul wandered the void for eons. In the endless black, I strive to return home. When I realized it was impossible for me, I found a way to reach into other worlds, a bridge. In order to use such technologies, my soul needed to change. And as I continued to use the bridge, my soul continued to change and evolve. Now I am far from human. What is all this junk? These are many of the inventions that I have tinkered with. As an engineer in a past life, it seems to desire to create is still within me. A lingering remnant of my lost humanity. Sure thing, Jim. Sure thing. I'll be back. I have another pyramid to find. Door number three. Let's go. Okay. Dad, will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she recognized me with my new face? God damn it, Sal. Can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. What about the man with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she recognized me with it on. Poor kid. Maybe that's why then he has cut it and like play. Right. Lovely style. I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out in this woods searching for some evidence that this was real. That I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they call it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That makes sense. Though I have to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Alright, what is... Why is my arm broken? I don't know, my arm is broken. What is this? Nothing, apparently. Why is there so much nothing in here? I cannot go over there. I still don't get why my arm is completely broken. It's <laughs> so weird. Okay, what am I trying to find? What is this? Oh, okay. I have no clue. How am I supposed to know this? I don't think there's anything all the way here, is it? Nope. Alright. What is that black thing over there? Is it just a... Uh... I can't go over there. <laughs> okay. Then maybe we continue this way until I find something? What is this? Sure. I need to place some stuff in there, it seems. Ah! Alright, I got that one up. Do you have something for me here? No, no. I wanna... Uh... Oh, this one is done up. Okay, I cannot do anything with that anymore. So there must have more, right? Oh, there is more. Uh... 
Oh, okay. Maybe this is the... Um... Right, I need to look. I don't know. So is... Moon, moon, sun, 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 moon. Moon, sun, moon. Moon, moon, sun, 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 moon. Sun, sun, moon. Moon, sun. There you go. And the third one is also up. Cool. Now I suppose it is going to be just like uh, in Todd's room, right? Oh, God. And this one does what? Nice! I did it completely by accident, <laughs> but it worked, so it's fine. <laughs> Another one lead up. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting stronger. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm going to figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Okay, so now there's this one. Uh, this one is on the west, so it's supposed to be like... There you go. Cool. Very nice. The black room, what do you have to say? We are shadows of a sleepless dream. Sure thing, buddy. Whatever you say. And this one? We are the dreamer of all that is. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, back up. Can I talk to Jim again? Hi, Jim. Will I be broken forever? Your soul may be forever fragmented. It is a rare occurrence, but not unheard of and not unexpected, given the circumstances. I, I can't say I was expecting this. It is the reason you are able to drift between worlds. It is the only way you'll be able to affect change and bring an end to the devourers of God. Why me, though? Because it is what you have chosen. When did I choose this? What are the pyramids doing exactly? When your soul was shattered, so too was your, so too was your ability to remain in your home world. The pyramids will merge together those pieces of your soul, so that part of you or your being may once again exit. Man, that's more complicated than I imagined it would be. Is this place a dream? It feels different from reality, hazy and uncertain, like a dream. I know I've been here before, somehow. There is no easy answer to this question, because there are no words to describe it that you can understand. It is both an ethereal dream and a physical place. It is solely your mind and yet it is all minds. It is infinite and fi finite. It is the dark and the light. It is... Okay, thanks. I think I get the idea. Ah, we get there. Yeah, we get there. Had all option conversation within the house of war. <laughs> nice. I didn't expect that achievement. Fantastic. Fourth and last one. Are you ready for your first day at school, Sal? I don't know. It will be fun. You get to meet a bunch of kids your age and make lots of new friends. But what if they don't like me? That's impossible. You're the coolest guy I've ever met. Me? Of course. I don't want to leave you, mommy. You don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you. And I'll be right here when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. Oh, poor mom. So was that... Oh. Okay. What is this? Is this the cave by Wendigo Lake? I don't remember it being so big. Another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa, was that a joke from Mr. Sirius? No, it is me, Jim Johnson. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna find the last pyramid. Godspeed. 
What do you mean by Godspeed? Ah, another secret. Ha ha ha. Okay, I got you. So as I don't have space on my notebook anymore. One, two, three. One, two, three. Red with purple. Okay, great. Lovely to see you over there. I guess in we go. What are we gonna find? The pyramid, of course. There's out people. Hello? Not moving. Whoa, back off, dude! I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So what are you doing in this cave, Sal Fisher? Besides sneaking up on people? I was just about to ask you the same question. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockfell before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Who's your grandfather? Just wondering, you know. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks. My grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that, that our ancestors made all of these paintings. He said they depict a warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that's the thing you lost? Yep. I haven't seen anything like that around here, sorry. What about some dirty hexagons? You're just out here with a mask on, looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? It's a prosthetic. Yeah, you can see this time that he actually doesn't have an eye. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help with geom your geometry. <laughs> All right, sorry, um, I'll pass by you then. Lovely talking with you, Tala, I guess. Was that your name? Why are you there? Can I talk to her again? Even though like, it doesn't appear anything for me to interact, but maybe I can? I can. Your ancestors were from Knockfell. Oh, what about the evil beast? I end up doing the, okay. Hungry, not evil. It's just a beast. It doesn't have morals. It only does what it needs to survive. Same as all animals. That's how the story goes, at least. Supposedly, the Grey tribe was traveling through the woods when they saw a large glowing light in the distance. They sent their strongest hunter to check it out. Hours after they had gone, the light went out. A couple more hours after that, and the hunter returned with excitement of finding a beautiful lake. The next few months, the tribe migrated to this area to leave by the lake. What does this have to do with the bees? I'm getting to that part. So, they moved to the lake, right? But then people start disappearing in the middle of the night. Turns out the hunter had turned into a beast and was eating people. What did they do? I guess they made a deal with it, so that they could continue to live on the land, though they had to make sacrifices to it. Hmm. Interesting. If by interesting you mean bullshit, then yeah. You don't believe it? Hell no. It's some silly story they probably told kids to keep them out of the woods at night. Or not, since a lot of people are dying here. My grandparents say that our ancestors named Knockfell, though I could never find evidence of that. I can trace our lineage back a few generations, but then it's all word mouth of mouth after that. These paintings are also pretty odd. They aren't documented anywhere that I could find, and their appearance is very different from other Native American paintings. What do you think it all means? I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that it has to do with my grandfather is missing. With why his grandfather is missing. Is there anything I can do to help? I doubt it, but thanks. Alright then. See you around, Tala. See you around. I'm going to the cave. I probably should remember this picture. Okay, engraved into my mind. Let's go. Okay, more pictures, a bunch of hands. Oh god. What is that? 
Huh. I think the pyramid is in here somewhere. Oh, fantastic. And here they are again. Fucking hell. Let's go. Nice. I got them all. What is that on his face? Like, did he die and cap the mask on? I don't understand what's happening, but the third one is activated now. Could this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. Are you sure? The prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you will take physical form. I am not sure of anything. Alright, let me take care of this last pyramid. Sure thing, let's go. Now, let me see. Oh, that's too big. Give me some time, I need to concentrate. Then this. Ha! Huh. Sal? Ugh. Damn it, this was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? It hurts. There's another part of Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. I'm so sorry, Sal. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what he means. I know what I have to do. Um. Ash, don't. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything. I've messed up. Uh, girl? No. Go save them, Sally Face. I hope you meet again. Ash, no! will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? Not much. But I mean, there's a bunch of other people in the world. Maybe they can make some sense of it. Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude. I just got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the shit they've been through. Yeah. Hey Larry? What's up? Do you... Do you think anyone that could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You Sally face. You're perfect, dude. Oh man, all oh, the alcohol. Was that the father's alcohol thing? Of course Neo can move in. I'm surprised it took you took you this long to ask, honestly. His current lease is nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'll be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too. Though Larry probably won't move move in until next year. Right. Well, thank you. Neil will be excited to hear the news, and I'll be very glad to have him close by again. Yeah, Larry was gone. Todd's gone. Ugh. What's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're an amazing artist, Ash, and a wonderful teacher. I'll never be as good as you, though. Sure you can. All it takes is practice and determination. But only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be a good at everything you do. Some things we just do, or we do just because they're fun and we like doing them. Or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right. I have been enjoying this time together, very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Anytime you want to paint, or even just hang out, let me know. Oh my god, the pile of corpses. Ashley. I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes. 
You were always there for me. You gave me hope when I needed it most. Even when you saw the horrible things I had done. Even when you couldn't believe the reasons I had to do those things. You stood by me. That means everything. The ritual requires one final step. Seize the power of the Blade of Osiris. Alright. Damn, everyone died. <gasps> What's happening to me? Her hand is draw weird. Ash, can you hear me? Sal, where are you? The ritual has awakened a power within my being, but I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. This power I feel, this is you? Yes. Holy shit, Sal! Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, I can fight. Whoa. Thank you for trusting me with this. I couldn't have obtained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some cultist ass! Hell fucking yeah! Is there anything else for me? No, the mask is here. All the people, all that kind of bullshit. Ben fucking tastic! We're gonna kill some people. <laughs> Alright, the cemetery is gigantic. Let's get out of here. We're going to commit mass murder. Nice. Where is everyone? Are you so desperate to kill everyone, Ash? Calm down. Inner West Hall. Uh, I cannot destroy the door. I thought that I could. Oh, this is very much locked. The center chamber is sealed shut. How are we going to get in there? I think I can get us in. So now we start a switch thing again? Oh yeah, we do. Great, what do I have? Nothing. How do I get us in then? Oh, I can go through- Oh my god, what is this? Um, cool, I'm confused. Oh, it's gigantic again. The Devourer of God. 1963 to 19, um, 1963, 1663. The first prophecy brings small group of natives together, a faction of their great tribe. Colonists arrive in Ockfell, a marriage between Sitlali Gray and Wesley Rosenberg unites the two groups. Original temple is built. 1703, Phelps Ministry is constructed to hide the temple used to indoctrinate followers and gang members. Another ceremonial marriage between the Grey and the Phelps family. Specific details unclear. Mid-1700s, the prophecy about the child of the abomination is spoken and became, becomes part of their do uh, doctrine. Preparations for his exec execution begins. 1887, Addison apartments are built, temple expanded, cult growing in numbers. 1905, Darius Addison is born. His parents made a deal with the council, so the boy was blessed from birth to be the entry point of the Endless One. The council secretly fed him human flesh. This information is withheld from general members. 1906, a new prophecy says that killing the child of the abomination will bring a man from the sky, who they believe is me, who will greatly help the devourer's efforts. 1917 to 1932, Darren's soul is destroyed by the Endless One, and his parents are murdered. The boy appearance starts to change, so the council lock him in his room to keep their secret. They are able to draw power from the beast. 1938. The first shadow is successful summon. These cosmic predators are relentless. My studies show that they can be contained and even destroyed by strong enough sources of ultraviolet light, but only when possessing a host. 1983. Initiation. Okay, leave. No, I don't want to leave. I want to open the safe. Well, yeah, I want to open the safe, but I don't know 
I don't know the code for the safe. What the hell is this thing? You asking me? I don't know. Console. Oh my god, what is this? I. Sure. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. There, there are things here, there are things happening. Ah! I open it. Lisa, I know that you and Larry must hate me for leaving. It was the hardest thing I've ever d I ever had to do. It shattered my heart. Maybe it doesn't mean much now, but I need you to know that I left to protect you both. I thought I could keep you safe by keeping it all secret. I've gotten mixed up with dangerous people. They were threatening to hurt you. If I didn't join them. I believe they're also responsible for our stillborn daughter. Though I haven't found hard proof of that. Now they're planning a mass murder of children across the globe. They think these kids are a threat to them. I have to stop this from happening. This damn cult is dealing with powerful forces they don't understand. I've been secretly sabotaging their efforts where I can. But I'm going to need to take greater actions to stop the killings. It's likely I won't survive this. I hope that you and Larry can forgive me. Above anything, I hope that you will both have a long, fulfilling lives and they'll find happiness. That didn't happen. I love you with all the pieces of my broken heart, Jim. Seeker of knowledge. Oh, cool. Um, how about this, though? Okay, what does this do? All right, I don't know what that does. Oh fuck, what have I done? No. What? I didn't find a green hexagon. And because I did not find a green hexagon, that's supposed to be the one in the middle. I cannot solve this puzzle. Great. I'm, I'm very upset about it because now I don't know where the hexagon is. There it is. There's the green. Um, I went back. I played the whole thing again. Not the whole game. Just the whole episode 5 again. Following... A walkthrough so I would be absolutely sure to get all of this because what's behind this door is important and I really want to see it so let's keep following the goddamn walkthrough and let me see which colors go when because I do not want to think about this puzzle it's white black blue red green purple there you go don't wonder so far, Sally. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh, so it was not a dog. I spent so much time blaming myself for what happened. I never stopped to thank you. You sacrificed yourself to protect me. You were the best person I've ever knew. Every day of my life I've tried to live up to your sacrifice. So that's why in our memories it was always a dog. It's like when I read that this was behind the door I was like nah man I'm going to play it all again because I needed that part. So now we know what happened to his face. It wasn't a dog that mauled them. It was the cult trying to get rid of children because apparently he was the kid that was going to stop them. And again, just like Harry Potter, by trying to stop them, they made him go forward. Yeah. Okay. So now it's fine, right? Now it's fine. Now it's supposed to be the final fight, so it's supposed to be okay. I hope everything's recording fine. Oh my god! I can't show some of this stuff, but okay. We've been expecting you. 
What have you done? The final dissension is upon us. On this night, mankind will triumph over God. You kill them. Who are those? Oh, I think that's Maple. I don't know who the purple guy is or the green hair lady, and that's Neil. There's two people that I don't know who they are. And many others. We are destined to be so much more than- Shut the hell up, you psycho! I'm gonna end you! I thought you might feel that way at first. Oh! I guess I'm not supposed to get too close to them. Not too close, but just enough. Alright. Up! Um, but, okay. Oh, they're going, they're becoming faster and faster and faster. But, oh, no, there's two. Okay. Who am I? God! Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of this. So, is that you? Who's talking? Who's that? Holy shit, man. I didn't think I've ever seen you again. What happened? When the three house burned, I was lost in the void. It's been so long there, dude. Like, really long. I can tell. I like the beard, though. <laughs> but yeah, there was this weird tree. The roots were all cosmosy and stuff. Creatures gathered around and worshipped it. They call it the Mother Tree. I'm still not really sure how, but it helped me find my way back. I think I've seen that or felt it before. You're connected to it. We all are. Larry, about Lisa, I... Dude, you don't need to say anything. I know. But I... It's okay. Seriously. All of their souls would have been destroyed. I'm glad your soul didn't dissolve in the void. Not yet, at least. Though Todd was right about the whole second death thing. Souls fade into the void and become nothing. It sounds brutally final, but I didn't learn much beyond that. Do you know how we can save Todd? I think I can get him out. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. He's always had a strong will. Oh, I have something for you. I found it in the void. A guitar! Fuck yeah, let's go! Leave Todd to me. You need to hold back the shadows. They're starting to seep in. Gotcha, man. Okay, be careful. You too. They're here. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. In my ass, you red-eyed bitch! Yeah, <laughs> take that! All right. Oh no, I'm as Ash again. Ooh. All right, okay, okay. I just need to concentrate a bit. Oh, just come on. Come on, come on, man. Just fall already. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I won't let you do this! Your betrayal is not surprising. You always were a disappointment. The feeling is mutual, you fucking freak! You know you can stop this, son. Ah, uh, makes sense now. A lot of what he's done makes sense now. Travis! Ashley, get out of here. Now! It can't end like this. We have to. I have to. Do I detonate? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, if I detonate every- I- I'm not reading exactly, I'm just passing my eyes through, but- <laughs> No! Oh my god. 
Ugh. It's not fast enough. All right, we're good. What is that? I got you, Todd. Hold on, buddy. Okay, okay. We, we, we can do that. Oh my god, I'm pixel. What am I supposed to do? Oh, right. I hate it. Ah, that's too difficult for me. I'm not good at this. Ah! Oh, wait a second. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm not good at that. Ah. Okay. Whew. Whew. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, my dude. Too fast. Okay. We are everlasting. Ah, please stop. I'm... Oh, not again. Is this a one hit wonder? I, I I'll die. I'll die a few times. Ah! Did I die? I don't know. No, I'm good. What is this? Why is there's three chairs in there? Oh my god. The creator of all things decay in our bowels. Its power is surging through our veins. I don't believe you. A broken soul resisting what's inevitable. Yet we are eternal and have surpassed God itself. You will soon become one with the endless. We are the final stage of all humanity. I'll never join you. Yeah, because I don't think... Thinking about it now, I don't think... Uh... Woo! Oh. Okay, okay, I got you. You first, come on. Come on, come on, open up. Alright, now you're the last one. Perfect. Oh boy, what what now? Ah! Wait, wait here. Not so fast. Oh, I didn't know I could do diagonal. Ah, this is difficult. Ay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's too high up. How many do I have to destroy? Alright. Did I do it? Woo! Oh, this fight is insane, man! Oh, I don't know what to do with this one. This one was confusing. Ah! Oh, too close. Way too close. Oh my god, it's closing on me. Ah, fuck. Okay, this is difficult. This is difficult. This one is difficult. Woo! Nice. Okay, I guess we all did it. Did we beat Todd? Is Todd okay? Is Todd who's going to be the only one to survive? Well, technically Ash is also alive, right? Todd? Hey, are you okay? Larry? Good to see you, Ash. I, uh, like the new look. When did you get so old? It's a long story. When did you get all gro glowy? Long story. It's over. We did it. Why does he feel so bad? Why are you sure it's over? It seems like it, but I just... 
God, you're alive! Where? What happened? I think we stopped them. I'm glad you're okay, dude. Good to have you back, Todd. We'll fill you in in the details later, after we get you patched up. There's a lot to talk about. I just want you to all know how much we, how much you mean to me. I love you guys so much. I was lucky to know you. I'm glad I got to see you all again. I love you too, Larry. Are you alright? He's dead! How is he alright? I'm sorry. I didn't have much time left. Larry. I didn't think I'd be afraid. But I just wish I had more time. He's gone. What? No! Where did he... He can leave again. We just got him back. Was that Larry? Yeah. Maybe we'll see him again someday on the other side of Oblivion. I don't believe it is real, but I mean, after all of that, there is such a place. But his eyes are still red. Does that mean that the demon is still there? The end? Finished episode 5. To be continued! You motherfucker! <laughs> you can't do this to me! Oh my god! Is there more? I need to figure out if there's more. No, wait a minute. I, I, I can't. I can't. Well, according to Portable Mew Moose Twitter account, or X or whatever, he does say that Sally Face 2 is ready, or kind of like it's written, but he's debating on the best way to release it. So... We'll see. That was in March of this year, so we have to wait. But apparently, yes, we will have... A Sally Face 2. And oh boy, I'm excited for it. I love the game. The puzzles are complicated and if you look at here, like if I go to episodes, you can see that I barely completed a few of them. So like probably there are secrets that I never found. There are things that I've never found. This one, even following basically the whole walkthrough, I still wasn't able to get everything. So, if there is stuff uh, hidden, I couldn't find. But that's it for Sally Face for now. If When they do release a second one, I will play the second one. Because I absolutely loved this game a lot. So, I am excited to see a second one. It's, it wasn't even dark when I started to play it. But now it is. In either way, that's it for Sally Face. So if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day. Bye bye.